Hello everybody, it's Michaela at Hooked in a Flash. If you'd like to follow me, you can do so on Instagram, it's Hooked in a Flash. Facebook is Hooked in a Flash Crochet. And then I do also have patterns on Ravelry and Etsy as well, and that is Hooked in a Flash too. I hope everyone is doing well. I am here today to show you guys about my Chiu, uh, Chow Goo sets. Uh, it's not really, wasn't intended to be a review, but I will probably end up reviewing. Um, just so that you guys are aware, I thought that this was the cutest backdrop for this because it's like extravagant, whatever, and it's just getting hair everywhere, but I've already set up everything, so we're just going to deal with it. <laughs> so um, this is my Chowgu set. I have all of the interchangeable sets um, that they have put out, and I just kind of wanted to go through them with you guys and show you how I uh, hold everything and kind of organize all my stuff on here. So when you open this up, I'm just going to set this to the side for the moment. These are all my 5-inch top and bottom and the fluffies, whatever. Uh, and then on the second part, there's the 4-inch needles. So if we want to look, I keep trying to look at my camera and then at my stuff as well. This is really hard with having it in front of me. Okay. There we go, there's my five and four inch. Joins are beautiful. If you've never used Chow Goo, very, very smooth joins. Their cables are excellent. I know that I've shown that before, but I'll pull one out and show you guys just one more time, just in case. So the only con that I have about this bag, I absolutely love this, or pouch, I guess you would call it. The only con I have about this pouch is on the top side, Bottom side's perfect. If you can see, like here's a two, here's two, three, four, you know, it lines up perfect. And I'll talk about these in a moment. This side, however, the top and bottom are not the correct size. This should be over here and this big pouch should be over here. So that makes it so that um, I had to switch my US 9 and my US 15 on opposite sides so that they are um, so that they actually fit and that is a little annoying to me I know I'm I mean I it's not a big huge thing obviously I can tell which one's which but it's it's just it would be so nice if it lined up like this other side it just looks nicer uh, but otherwise I love the pouch it looks well um, it's made really well I have no other issues with that these here are not Chow goo, obviously. These are slip and snip. Let's see if I can get it to ta da! Slip and snip. Made in the US. These are my favorite scissors to use. And it's kind of a bonus that they are stainless steel, so they go in and they actually look really nice in there, too. I got those from Teaswick Wools. These here are not Chow goo either. These are Haya Haya straight adapters for their uh, interchangeable needles. I bought one. We can just put this one back on here. I bought one just to see if this would work, and it does. The joint's pretty smooth. There's no real issues. I have made dishcloths with this, and I've had no problems. And then you just take your chow goo end. Here's one of mine. Oh, sorry, it's all blurry. Anyways, it can go in here. And now I have a straight. I'm going to get the large size as well, just so that I have it. I don't really need it, but I want to have it, so I'm going to have it so that I have a whole set. And those will go somewhere probably up here since I don't have any room down here. Uh, the next thing is on here, I didn't like sticking, so there is, on the front there is a pouch here. Uh, I stick, I usually have just a random, um, like, a, you know, needle, some stitch markers, and these in stoppers, which also work on the straights really well if you um, have these instead. And then I have my um, thing here, which I don't really use because this is just a uh, random nine inch that I 
fold in here for my son because he likes to knit on those little ones. Um, I don't really use, don't need to use that because the needles have the engraving on them and they don't rub off. So I can always tell the size, but I have it there just in case. And then this came with a different set, but you can buy this separate. I use it for my cables, which I'm just going to pull one out right now and show you guys. Let's grab a smaller one so that we're not getting crazy since it's all close. Um, this is how I store them. They're made with a wire cord. And literally that's it. There's no kinks in them, nothing like that. I can bring out a super, actually here, I'll bring out a really long one. I'll bring out my 50 inch one just to show you guys. Okay, here's my 50. There it is all the way out. There is no, it does not keep a memory. So you don't have your stuff all wrinkled up and crazy. You don't have to boil these in water, nothing like that. They will work great no matter how you store them. And you won't have to fight your needles. That's how I store. At any rate, these here, this is how I like to keep them. I have the smalls in the back and then my large in the front. That way they're all separated. And I just slide that right in there. And that's how I keep that. My next one that I have, I'm just going to zip that up so I don't get crazy and fling it everywhere. Um, this obviously is not a chow goo <laughs> set. These are my sock knitting needles. These came in that uh, pouch that I showed you that I have the cables in it. And I didn't feel like they it was a sturdy enough pouch for how delicate these are. I mean, they're going to hold up. Obviously, they're stainless steel, but I'm rough on life <laughs> and I didn't want to break my needles. So I wanted something a bit more sturdy. So this is what comes in that set. You get this, the mini stoppers, the stitch markers, the little T keys, uh, three sets of the mini um, cables, and then the little gauge thing there, and then this here. This is what I was talking about when if you buy the Haya Haya straight adapters, use this on there and then it won't come off on you. So I just stick that right there. I got these. These are from all my socks. So I have every size from a 1.5 millimeter all the way up to a, um, let's see, I think it's a, it is a 10 millimeter, which is a, z a triple zero all the way up to a 13, 15, sorry, 15. That's how big Chowgu goes. So I won't have to worry about any sort of size that I need to do. Uh, I bought this off of a seller at a market. It's actually a CD case that he put on here. I liked it. So that's what I have for that. The next thing that I have that just came in are my Chowgu minis. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with this first one here. It's got a little pouch. I like the little pouch. It comes with the little uh, this is the larger size. The blue is the larger size. It's got the instopters, T-pins, and the stitch markers, as well, as well as the little measure thing here. I think I've called it something different every single time. All right. And then it comes with three sizes of cables. Anything else? No, there's nothing else in there. Okay. And then here are the needles here. It goes from size four all the way up to size eight. Boop. There we go. And these come with 
two inch and I should just pull out three or just one at a time <laughs> and my three inch here so now I have and these are useful for if you're knitting small circumference things such as sleeves uh, baby hats anything like that it goes up from a nine inch to a 12 inch with these cables on here and my son and my daughter both have um, smaller hands so these smaller needles are actually really nice for them they use them when they're knitting very smooth join just like the the other ones the four and the five inch ones very smooth joins no problems with them the cables are fine those are blue cables but they are the, made the same way they have the um, steel inside and then this is the smaller set goes from uh, zero to uh, two millimeter up to a three, three point two five millimeter, and same deal, three inch, as well as this tiny little two inch. My son likes the two inch ones. Uh, I have knit with these. I've knit color work with these. I haven't made anything crazy, but I did make a color work ball with them and I had no issues whatsoever. I used one two inch on my left side and one three inch on my right side when I was doing it. These are the cables that it comes with. Five, six, and eight. And then another measuring. I can measure so many things. And then these as well. The mini cables are super, super, super like nothing's there on your needles it's crazy but these these are like ooh, I just flung it off do you see how tiny they are they're crazy um, compared to this is what that other one came in that's what I was talking about so here's a mini a small and then just because I'm pulling stuff out let's go with the large as well now you're thinking oh that kind of sucks to have to switch every so often they do have adapters that you can go from the mini up to the small and the small up to the large if you would prefer but I actually really like having these on here because these minis make it so that I can use my tiny little needles if I need to. The smalls give me a bit more grip and then these large ones I don't like using. I have switched it so that I was using this on my large ones. I actually like I prefer the large cable on there because otherwise it just kind of feels like it's gonna weigh down. I don't know I feel like I need a bit more girth for my bigger projects. But yeah so there's these here. And then the, the blue ones are the same as the small set. They are just a different color. And then I just wanted to show some other accessories. You've already seen the mini of these. These are the small, these are the large. These ball pins are what I uh, like to use. And then these are the little boop. these are the little adapters in case you need to make your uh, cable longer you can just use those so I've got small and large in here and then I put this piece of magnet on here so that I have my t-pins and my darning needles and then of course I got to represent my favorite game the next thing that I have in here <laughs> if you guys can't tell I'm a bit of a nerd but that's okay. The next thing that I did was I made these and this is Usagi Ojimbo. Uh, these are just tins that I got and then I put a um, Mod Podge 
on here. I cut out the magazine. And I use these for just uh, extra stuff if I needed to throw these in. These I got from Etsy and I talked about them in a, another episode. Look how cute they are. They're so cute. So these are for my small sock um, needles. These are for my normal, for like worsted weight. I prefer, these are my favorite um, stitch markers. These ones here, they're light, they're simple, they don't catch on anything. I always, I have like three pairs of these hanging around everywhere. I really like them a lot. And then these ones here are for my large. Got, I, I took out the, I usually have a needle in each one, a darning needle, but I took it out for a job and didn't put it back. So those are my little storage things. And I did want to, that's all for my knitting stuff. Uh, I have all of them on there. Like I said, I do want to get that high, high, large straight adapter um, just so that I can, I have all the versatility, but I can knit anything I want on there. I don't have to use a um, DPNs. I'm not, I can use them and uh, I just don't enjoy using them. So I am a very diehard magic loop fan. Don't need to do anything like that. I can knit in the round, anything, you know, all the way from uh, a nine inches all the way up to 60 inches if I needed to, or even bigger actually, because I have my adapters. Um, so this is my next thing that I am picking up. Uh, Tracy at Tease Awake Wools has these. They're the Chowgu. Uh, crochet needles or crochet hooks um, that I'm picking up. So for straight up crochet, these ones I like. If I'm just doing singles, I like these. They're very they're like a workhorse uh, hook for me. But if you see the shaft is kind of short, so for more complicated sh uh, stitches, this kind of gets tight in there. It gets really crowded. So, uh, but for my workhorse, these are super comfortable. I uh, crochet like a holding a pencil, but it also feel good if you hold like you're holding a knife. Uh, I do not get any hand fatigue or anything like that with these. I've just got these, these two. That's it. Need more. Need all the ones in between. That is all I have. If you guys have any questions, please send a comment down below. If you want to know anything specific about these that I've pulled out, you can absolutely message me uh, on Instagram or Facebook if you'd like, if you prefer rather to than um, messaging down below. And that's it. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week.